The bustle of New Delhi's railway station, even in slower COVID times, is the perfect cover, a breeding ground for child traffickers. This young boy tried to get away from his captors, one of them his own brother. The social workers patrolling the platforms hear that often. Desperate families with no other options. We can't say anything to them. They are vulnerable, marginalized people. This child helpline is busier these days. COVID-19 has made an already desperate situation much worse. These two boys picked up at the same train station don't want to be here. They feed lie after lie to the counselor trying to help them. Until the bravado breaks. The terror of being sent back home with no money too much for him. It's a very much probability that they have come for work. Since schools are locked down and nobody is studying. In India, it's illegal for children under 14 to work unless it's in a family business. But that law is powerless to protect so many in this country. Particularly in a pandemic that has wreaked havoc on India. A swift and severe lockdown abruptly shut schools, leaving children with nowhere to go, pushing the poorest and most vulnerable to the edge. Rescue homes like this one try to teach basic skills to children who can't return to their families, anything to help them escape crippling poverty. I prefer to call nowhere children. They are not on the radar. They are not visible. Visible means they are not accounted for. For the parents of these children now in the hands of child welfare authorities, it's also a struggle. Out in the hallway, Poonam tries to catch a glimpse of her three older boys, detained while begging on the streets a month ago. The lockdown was the worst time she's ever been through, she says. Her husband, an addict, had already left the family. They were all starving, living on less than three cents a day. She gets only a few short minutes with her sons at a distance, but that's enough. She doesn't want them back. Convinced this is the only hope they have of surviving. Salima Shivji, CBC News, Delhi.